Hello and welcome to part one of Octodad, Dadliest Catch. I'm Preposterous Whitey, as always. This is a new special game that we're starting on Whitey Mondays because uh, Yoshi's Island was cancelled for technical issues, aka every single episode that I recorded the other day rendered out without audio, so I'm too pissed off to record that show. So, we're gonna switch over. Now, uh, Whitey Mondays are gonna alternate between being Link to the Past and being Octodad Dadly Catch, presuming this goes well. I haven't played this game yet, I just bought it the other day when it came out. I think maybe it was last Wednesday or Thursday, either one of those. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try it out and see if it lives up to the hype, because I've heard really good things. So here we go, we're gonna start the new game. Look at that little swirly snail in the corner. Oh no, I guess it's a tentacle. That makes more sense. So here we are. It is Octodad's wedding day, I guess. I know a little bit about this game because I've been reading reviews and I've watched one other small Let's Play of it. I'm going to try to shut up when there's actual talking. And I'm already failing. God damn it. Are you ready? <gasps> You're not even dressed. <laughs> She's waiting for you. That's the big shock of the moment that he's not dressed. All right, so we're going to learn how to play here. Move the left stick to control Octodad's arm. Okay. Yeah. I I got it. Clear the table of junk. There we go. Now remove the cushions. Press the bumper or the A button to grab. Okay. I like that little suction cup sound. Oh, I found a key! It's just like The Legend of Zelda! Move the right stick up and down to raise or lower your arm. Okay. I got it. Unlock the cabinet. Oh, this is neat! This is a neat tutorial. Okay. There we go. And get it in that second lock there. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Octodad, I believe in you. There we go. Open the cabinet. <laughs> Holding the right trigger will gradually lift your right leg. And the left trigger does the same for the left leg. Okay. So go out the front door. Or not the front door, just the door. And, uh, this is... Oh, I found a tie, I guess. Alright. My first hidden tie. I didn't even see it, so I found it by accident. I was just trying to open the door. Um, okay. These controls are really strange, and I get that that's the point, but still, this is going to take some getting used to. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I can... I could get used to this. So you just hold the stick in the direction you want to go and then press the appropriate trigger to move the appropriate leg. Find and wear your tux. What does this button do? Oh, it's a party! Yeah! Woo! Getting disco crazy up in this joint. Octodad is a machine. He's an animal on the floor and an animal in general because he's an octopus and even if he wasn't he would be a human. He probably wouldn't be a plant, I guess. There you go, there's a there's an idea for a sequel, Plant Dad. He just sits in a pot and nobody notices. Sorry, yeah, I'm dumb. It's a much worse idea than this. Get your get your arm off the door, Octodad. Oh thank god, I thought I was gonna have to like zip up the tux and everything for a second. Oh yeah, I'm getting the hang of these controls actually. They feel really weird, but I can't imagine controlling an octopus any other way, really. There aren't many games where you can play as an octopus. Um, I guess there's some Mario Party games where you can play as Blooper. I guess that kind of counts, but he controls just the same as everyone. In fact, he's a strange choice. Well, I guess... I mean, at least he has arms. Boo is actually a stranger choice because he doesn't have arms or legs. Get, get off of me! Okay, I guess I need to find a key somewhere. Where can I find a key? Is it under this wedding cake? Is it under these speakers? Is it under the bride and groom? Where is it? 
Man, this place is going to be trashed. Oh, it's a hidden tie. I'm glad I looked under there then. I don't know what those do, but I like collectibles, so we're going to find them anyway. If we can. Ooh, a banana peel. Where do you think the key is, you guys? Unlock the hall door. What do I unlock it with? There we go. Man, Octodad's getting the party started. He's not even waiting for the other guests to arrive to start trashing the place. He's like a fucking British punk band in a hotel room or something. Okay, so we gotta unlock that door. Is this where we came from? That's where we came from, isn't it? Oh, God. Octodad, you are one slippery son of a bitch. Aha, I think I see a key over there. I'm stuck on something. Fucking chair. Get off me. Get off. Okay, the key I thought I saw is a banana peel. Get off. Come on. I believe in your power to find the key, Octodad. Maybe if I turn back on the lights instead of the disco lights, it'll go better for me. Come on! Oh god. There we go. Okay. Now that it's better lit in here, maybe I'll have a better chance at finding this key. There you go, Octodad. You're a good Octodad. Wow. I still don't know where this key is, though. I'm starting to get really embarrassed already. Is it really that well hidden, or am I just being stupid? Come on! Let's go, Octodad. Unlock the hall door. Yeah. But how? This is really weird already. As if I had to tell you guys that. Oh. I broke off the knob. I guess that means I can't go in there again. I thought maybe I could go... I could backtrack a little bit and the key would be somewhere back there, but I guess not. Apparently not. Oh god, I keep getting stuck on shit. There we go. This is harder than it looks. Although, I guess it probably looks pretty hard, too. But believe me when I say that this is my first time playing this, and I'm not going to be a grandmaster at it already. Did I screw myself? Like, did I knock over so much shit that it's just going to be impossible to find this key now? That's a shitty move, Octodad. The game, not the person. He didn't... It's not his fault. It's my fault for controlling him badly. Oh, shit. Even octopi aren't immune to the pratfalls of a banana peel. Okay. I feel like I'm just missing something really obvious. Is that a figurine? Oh, okay. It's the bride and groom thing from the... Oh, the key was here the whole time. That just looked like a part of the coat rack, personally. Alright, sorry you guys for being dumb. I wasted everyone's time. But uh, hopefully it's smoother sailing from now on. Oh god. We're already causing priceless amounts of damage to this church or wherever the fuck we are. Ooh, yeah. Is this a secret? Is this a secret? No. It's no... No secrets over here. Yeah. You thought I was going to hit the banana peels, but I didn't. This ain't no Three Stooges sketch. Oh, it's a, the Church of Cthulhu, I guess. Let go of an object while moving your arms to hurl objects. Like this. Oh, not like that. There we go. Fuck your gifts. Fuck everyone's gifts. God damn it. I didn't invite any of you people. I don't even have any human friends. 
Okay. There we go. Is that a bow tie? Yes, it is. Put on the bow tie. What? How do I... How do you put something on? Do I just have to move it to my neck? Like this? There we go, okay. Is there something else back here? Okay, it's just a... I guess we're in a prison. Octodad is in the slammer. Event this way. That's a not-so-subtle clue. I wonder if there's a secret over here. Or if these door knobs are just going to pop off like all the other ones do. Yep. Well, I'm bringing this one with me as a souvenir, so whatever. Move the right stick up and down to raise and lower your arm. Okay. Got to bring my doorknob. I promised it it could come to my wedding. It was its dying wish when I pulled it off that door. Oh shit. Okay. So I'm already in danger of being found out. Oh shit, I'm already... it over here? Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. You need any help over there? Oh yeah. We're gonna get married and none of you suspicious fuckers can stop it. Uh, except this this thing that I'm stuck on can stop it. I get, keep getting stuck on shit. It's the only thing I don't like about this so far. There we go. Uh, uh. There. Come on. Ow. Sorry about that, honey. There you go. Just put that giant bracelet around your hand and we'll call it a ring. We'll have to compromise on this one. Oh, that's good beer. I like how his little tentacles kind of look like a mustache. Alright, we'll get through the credits here and then we'll go ahead and call it the first episode and we'll see you guys next time. Creative Director Kevin Zun. Oh, I can move around and everything while I'm up here. Can make him flop through the credits. Oh no, I missed it. I didn't get to smash Chris Stallman. He'll get off scot-free this time. Phil Tabotsky. Kevin Geyser. He's related to the famous geysers at Yellowstone National Park. Nick Esparza and Jeff Rosenthal. Now he's just Jeff Rosen. Ha ha! Seth Park and Ian McKinney. I'm liking this. This is a lot of fun. This is a ton of fun. I just don't like that I keep getting stuck on shit, but hey. Sometimes a game is cool enough to overlook some of its tiny little flaws, at least in my opinion. Octodad, the deadliest catch. Not to be confused with James Bond Octopussy, I suppose. You would be offended if you confused it with that. Alright. Just like every other dad, he wakes up with bleary eyes. And his arm and head draped off the fucking bed every morning. It's got a nice room. Um, if you're wondering where that beeping sound is, I swear that's just the uh, that's the in-game alarm. So, uh, thank you for stopping by for Octodad. This is your special treat. Both this and Zelda have gone up today. And uh, we'll alternate these on Whitey Mondays from now on. See you guys later, and thanks for stopping by Dual Wheeled Gaming. Preposterous Whitey signing off.